What's up everyone, Scott the Chart Hammer here. Look like I've been working out because I have been. We are back on the bay in Newport and we are clamming again. And like I said, last time I went clamming, I need to go with someone who knows what they're doing. So I got Daniel, came out with me. He's a viewer of mine who just happens to live in the same neighborhood I do. So it's real nice to get together and come out here. Yeah, we're out here on the bay. We're using our rakes to dig for some cockles. Yeah, pretty much all we're doing, digging a little bit in the sand. And you'll, you'll find them pretty easily, pretty quick. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notify bell next to us, so you're gonna be the first to see all great content that's gonna come from this channel. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. Well, it tells me why last time I was here I was getting bites in this area is because this just turns into a trough. It's just I couldn't get out into the trough. Was... Got bit! Oh yeah, look at that. Well, a few times I'll cast parallel to the beach. Got one? Hell yeah! I'm on! I was. Oh yeah, there's some in there. I just had three real quick consecutive bites. Wait, I might still have it. Yep, I still have it. Yeah. Yeah, a little one. That's something. Oh, it's a silver. Not a bad silver, but not what I'm here for. Yeah. Back you go. <laughs> that swell came up and just pushed me right into this rock. There's like no water, and then suddenly the swell just came in and didn't go back down. Yeah, so they just got wrecked. <laughs> My boots are full of water. Well, I got my heart pumping. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, There's my first. There you go. Dude, look at that one. That's a nice one. Is it on your... Yeah, closed on my prong. That was my first cockle ever. Good size one too. One. Oh yeah. Well, I found a small one. There we go. Another one. Another. Oh yeah. Got a good patch. Good. You are gonna be delicious. Small one. Yep. What is the workout? Yeah, I'm getting a workout. But I'm getting clam. So it's worth it. It is. It's a pretty typical size. Um, some areas you'll get some big ones. I mean like half pound, three quarter pound cockles. So oh hell yeah. Well usually you have to go where you have to take a boat out to places that aren't this great constantly. But there's constantly new ones coming in. Because these clams actually move. They're not like the other clams. Yeah, I was here for like two hours. Last time I was here walking right over these guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh I dug like fifteen of them by hand yesterday. Good one? Yep. Nice. First touch in this spot. You want to try and go dig a horse clam? Why not? There's another big show. Oh, yeah. You stick your finger down there, you'll feel them suck down. But it's really hard to dig them right here because that's a horse clam show. That's a small one. But we'll get him.
So you sort of expand out as you dig, make the hole bigger? A little bit. I right, heard the crunch. Oh yeah, that's little. <laughs> oh, that's tiny. They're not like that big. <laughs> Hell yeah. Those ones out there are huge, but they're way deeper than that. Sweet. Another bright one. Found a gold mine. Yeah. The bigger the lump, the bigger the plan. Those ones are going to be medium. I bet you they're going to be about that big. So break that one and that one. And there's two okay. Yep. Yeah, those are going to be medium. There's another one right there. There you go. Yep. Yep. So that's what you're going to look for. If you're going to, I just dug the rest of my limit. I'll have to recount it real quick to make sure. Double make sure. Could have went and got more horse clams, but they're real small here, and I don't feel like working so hard for the big ones. <laughs> they are a lot of work. Yeah, I'm at 14 right now. Yeah, that's uh, that one? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad one. 16. Then you can go through and if you have any little guys, you can throw them back and then uh, get the bigger one. There's another little one. Just sitting out of the. Uh, no thing that I've ever been on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's tons of clams over there. And it's crazy because you'll step on them, you won't even know. 18. Yeah. I felt the bigger one. I did. So you get these little ones and hard them for a couple days. And oh, here's a bigger one. That's going to be a decent one. And then there's another one right there. Yep. There we go. There you go. Yep. Throw a small one back. Let him go bigger. See, this is like going to the grocery <laughs> store. Yeah, this is freaking easy. Mm -hmm. So much easier than the last time I was here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. This is freaking awesome. Glad I could help. For a limit and clam that took what half an hour maybe <laughs> and that was because we were kind of high grading and i could have got my limit in a couple seconds it seemed like over there and that was so me. much easier than the last time i was out here oh yeah once you figure it out it's super easy it'll change though because sometimes you'll come over here and there'll be nothing because these clams do move yeah so, yeah they're not like uh your butters or horse clams or uh you know Razors that spend their whole lives in one spot. So, oh, that's one of those other clam. I can't remember what the hell this clam is called. They don't look like this when they get full grown. They get more round, but they have this weird little flat spot on the side of them. Oh yeah, I'll try digging that guy up. Yeah, yeah, we have to put one of these back. Small guy, you've been drafted to go back home. It's going to be some serious work. Catch you later. Yeah, because we can just go get a bigger one if we don't get this dude. So, you're going to want to dig, like, 
I mean, like that big, at least, and as fast as possible, because it'll start collapsing. Cool. So. Yep, work your way around the hole. I am so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it happened. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> broke the oh, my hand. <laughs> Come to Clem. Here he is. See, there's his head. Yep. Okay, then you're going to reach down and you want to get right next to him. Kind of. And then pull it. Bodybuilder grip is paying off. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's just a little guy. That's a little guy? That's a tiny one. <laughs> Holy cow. So worth the broken shovel, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm pretty much ending the day after only like 35 minutes with 19 cockles, these guys here, and one apparently small size horse clam. This is going to be a big bowl. Go for it. See this show right here? Yeah. I just poked my finger down and felt him. I don't know if I could get him there. Let's see. We'll set you aside. Yeah. We're releasing you. <laughs> Insurance. <laughs> yes. With my broken shovel here. Oh, hey, yeah. he's spraying. I don't know if I'll be able to get him. Oh, this one's deep. Probably about the same size as yours. So these are the ones you definitely want to, you don't want to go with the clam gun on. No. The best way to do it is to get yourself a shrimp pump. Oh, start okay. Start pumping the water around him, and it loosens up the suction. And then you're able to get down there. Oh, he's decent. He's not huge. Holy cow! That's, <laughs> that's your average horse clam right there. That's not giant. I'm still new to the game, so it's every that's still a surprise these, to me. Every one of these you dig, you have to keep. Yeah. You cannot return these. Cockles, he's going back. It's not a big deal. That works. That's your average size horse clam right there. Yeah. So compare the one I got. Oh yeah, that's easily twice as big. Just a little bigger. Yeah. You fit two of these in that one. Yeah. Typically, you find your horse clam uh, in this area at least. Ooh, there's a nice big one. Damn. Yeah. Glad I stopped to look at that. You'll find them over on that hard tap stand also. Yeah, there's a small one. Return to the system. They're the smaller clam I was talking oh, about. That's what they turn into. Oh, this is what they turn into. Yeah, when they get larger. Too bad it's been looted. They're, they're not too great to eat though. They're real, real gritty. Lots and lots of clam in them. They're hard to food. Well, now we got a delicious clam fry waiting for me at home. Eat up the fire, honey, because Daddy's bringing home the bacon. Ocean bacon. Oh, yeah, that's a good day's worth of clamming. So that's it for this video. I mean, for the amount of work we put in, the amount of food we got. It's not oh, easy. Dude, the shellfish license is worth it. Yeah, seriously, thank you. No problem, man. Made it a lot, it made it a lot simpler, a lot easier than I was thinking it was. Need a little experience and... You need, racist. need to come with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, we're going to be doing some more clamming, maybe some crabbing, more fishing together. I mean, we live, we're practically neighbors, so. A couple blocks. Yeah. <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Experienced clammers, let me know what you guys thought. Any observations you guys had, too. We're thinking it's beer 30, since, you know, we're we're already there. Hold one. Oh, finish yeah. off the day. Earned it. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there and the notify bell next to it so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, tips up, tight lines, have fun fishing.